Do you eat the birds out of here, mate? Do you eat the turkeys from here? Uh, you're spooking the shit out of them here no way. before they're going into the, the point. No, we're not. With a, ca a camera is quiet. A forklift is loud and scary. I'm sure they don't care that much about spooking the birds when they're going through the CO2 gas chamber. So. A murderer of birds say that you're spooking the birds? You know, how dare you? Okay, I think we're coming up to the place now on the left-hand side. There's a security guard. Is that a gas cylinder there? I don't know what that big cylinder is, but most turkeys in the UK are killed via gas, so. You're out here by yourself again, I've seen. <laughs> what's this, Peter's? Peter's only the finest ingredients. All right, we've got a, a truck here. First truck of the day, filled with turkeys. He's not gonna stop them for us? You gonna stop it for us? Seems like they've been a bit selective about what trucks they're gonna stop. I think maybe they're, t maybe they're choosing them from a certain farm, eh? Because uh, yeah. some farms... So as you can see on the floor here, it's frozen. It is about zero degrees this morning, which is terrible when you think about those birds waiting in the trucks, freezing, waiting to get gassed at this killing facility for Christmas. How horrible. What gas do you use here? Is it CO2 or nitrous oxide? We, we only do CO2. Yeah, so I get you. can't answer your question. No, I get you. You probably wouldn't want to anyway. Right. Some people don't want to give information about the slaughterhouse anyway. Uh, so yeah, I, th I think the, the, the process is probably the same as others Mind anyway. Excuse me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just find your back, please. Is that workers? Are they workers? A lot of people like don't want to work in slaughterhouses, eh? Not, not on the kill floor and doing gross work like cleaning it, cleaning all the guts and blood up. It's pretty terrible. So they're tipping body parts of these turkeys that are still warm into that truck. You can see the steam coming off of them. They look like necks or some type of other entrails. Probably necks. Sick. Uh, disgusting. Christmas massacre. If these were human beings, it would be on the front page of every newspaper on earth. But because they're turkeys and people just look at them like the crap on their boots, they, they look at them like they're nothing. This doesn't even matter. No one blinks an eye at this. These were conscious beings who wanted to live. They're hacked up into pieces. Their steaming body parts are dumped into a been disrespect of sentient life. Disgusting. How are you, mate? I'm the lead site manager. Oh, you're the site manager for this turkey site. Oh, cool. Just wondering, what gas do they use here? CO2 or nitrous oxide? Uh, a combination. It's a CO2, but with a combination. Okay. Because I was looking at that big green cylinder over there. That's not gas. Is that gas? Mm -hmm. That's the only cylinder you have here for the there's, entire. There's two there. There's two there. And how many chick uh, turkeys do you do here a year? It's about 60,000 a week. 60,000 a week? Turkeys? Turkeys. Wow. And you can't comment on your thoughts, can you? In what respect? I'm a meat eater, I eat our food. Do you eat uh, turkeys from here? Yeah. So a lot of people that I speak to that work at slaughterhouses, they don't actually eat no. the animals from... I mean, I've only been here for four months. I was in the duck plant at Caister. Yeah. I was there for 16 years. It's all about turkeys, because it is Christmas. You're probably doing more this month. More turkeys are slaughtered for Christmas here than, than normal. Than yeah, normal. there's a build-up towards it. You don't just hit that quota around no, 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 this time. No, no, no. You build up to that quota, exactly. and they freeze them, and then you sell, they'll be sold. If people stopped eating turkeys at Christmas time, this place would probably go under. No, it probably, wouldn't be all, enough. still got all year round business as well. OK. This so, is yeah. one of the biggest turkey slaughterhouses in the country? Um, uh, yeah, it's probably one of the top three, yeah. They come from uh, red tractor farms here. Do you have a, a welfare standard you, you will only kill at? This is a red tractor farm. So that just gives you an idea of what they pass for red tractor in this country. And people see that label and they think, oh, well, you know, British grown turkey and... Yep. Red tractor's the minimum? Yep. And then you have RSPCA? Yep. And do you kill free range turkeys here too? Uh, I'm not sure if they're free range, they're organic. Yeah, they're usually a bronze colour. They're usually a bron they do bronze, definitely. They do the bronze ones, yeah. so they possibly do do those here. Okay, and the, the, the gas chamber here, they put the turkeys on this it, conveyor belt and it runs... Standard, it's the standard angular auto flow module system. And they go through like a, okay. it's like a tunnel? Yeah, it's a, what they call the CAS, controlled atmosphere stunning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they do a similar thing for pigs, but they drop them down into a dungeon. So what do you do then if you see like a really poorly bird? Do they just cull them on the spot? There, there is a culling protocol, yeah. They'll go to like either fertiliser or dog food or... From dog food all the way to rendering and, and, and incineration. So it depends on what the level of risk if is. If they're to... really bad, then no, they, they, they won't even go to dog food because no, of the contamination. To too. Yeah. I was wondering, would you uh, take me through the slaughterhouse with a camera? No. Why not? because you'd have to go through uh, media centre and do it that way. Okay, so I can't but would they, would they, but would they... Uh... They've done it before in the past. Because um, they wouldn't have anything to hide here, would you? No, not at all. Because you're doing everything by the book. 
And of course we have, because of we've given under the FSA guidance, yep. we have regular visits by customers. The problem is, is again, is about how the portrayal comes across and where it comes from. They did this about two years ago and allowed somebody to do it, but that didn't get portrayed the same way. I don't have a problem with it. I've done it before in the past, and I would rather educate people than keep people in. Keep them in the dark. Yeah, I mean, I appreciate that. Is this stopping? This will stop. So okay, let's go. The thing to just spook the um, turkeys. Can you pull the buckles up for us? No, because of if we start opening it up, then that will cause us problems. We've got to stop it, get it all vented off properly before we start doing anything like that. Well, then how are we supposed to... Um... Yeah, put the camera right up we'll just start spooking the birds. Yeah, so but don't press wary. against it, please. There's no way of seeing these birds. They're about to be gassed, though, so they're going to be spooked anyway. Have you got a... Can I sit, get their face? Just one second, mate, and I will... Right guys, step back, please. Oh, that's terrible. I can't even. Right, can, can we just step back? Excuse me. I can't see them. Excuse me. I can't see the bird. Can we have a little bit more time than that? I couldn't even get a good shot of the birds. Right. It was only 30 seconds. I didn't even have time to focus and stuff. We're not going to spook them more than when you unclip the thing and just start taking them off with forklifts. Right guys, can we move down the barrier, please? Yeah, we're crossing the road here, love. We're just going over. You know, you're about to... Do you take them off a forklift? Yeah. So why, why would us with a camera spook them more than a forklift? Because it makes do, no sense. Right, when we're doing it, we have a process that we follow, OK? I'll get so, you. Yeah, so we unload them, we put them to one side, and that's it, done. You're yeah, but that's going to spook the shit out of them with a forklift. Right, OK, but you're spooking the shit out of them here... No way. ..before they're going into the, the point. No, we're not. With a, ca a camera is quiet. A forklift is loud and scary. Right, OK. Well, that's all I'm saying. Right, okay. we, we just want to get a good, some good shots of them, yeah. and uh, we couldn't. All right. I appreciate what you said, but we have a, a, a time on now. We said that there will be a time limit that we do, and that's what and we... And what was the time? What's the time limit? Three Th minutes. One that was guys... nowhere... That was not three minutes. Right, OK. That was then, 30 yeah, seconds, so tops. Right. right. I'm not going to get into an argument, as I said, oh. I'm coming to talk to you. No, I appreciate it. You've been really helpful. It's just, okay. it's just like... Right, OK. Yeah, so that made no sense. Like, why, why would a camera spook the, the birds when they're about to take them out with a forklift and gas them? It's nothing to do with spooking the birds. It was nothing to do with spooking the birds. He, if he cared about the birds, he wouldn't be manhandling them with a forklift and then gassing them to death. So it's just, it's just annoying. Like, he has been polite and respectful, which I appreciate, but... They don't, don't make nonsense claims like we're spooking the birds when we're trying to get a shot of them so the people can see who they're eating. What's your plans for the day? We okay. want to bear witness to as many turkeys that we can. It's only, he said three minutes, but we didn't have enough time. It's only like, what, a minute, and then like, we're just getting ready, getting the cameras ready, and then the, you're like, get out of the way, you're spooking the birds. But yeah. they're going to get a forklift out in a minute and grab the birds with a forklift and take them off the truck, which is going to spook them way more. Oh, it's just if we can't get footage of the birds, then yeah. why are we... What's the point of us standing out here, you know, and them, them stopping a truck for 30 seconds? It's kind of like, well, I want to get the footage of the birds, we want to show the footage of the birds, but he's not allowing us to, so, you know, do we have to get the footage of the birds in another way? Do I have to stand in front of the truck like we do at other places because the slaughterhouse won't cooperate with us, but we want to be safe and we don't want to piss anyone off? Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's just, if we just get an extra minute and a half, so it's three minutes, and they're going to be waiting over there for ten minutes anyway and get a forklift shoved into them and get gassed to death anyway. Yeah. You know, like, I'm sure they don't care that much about spooking the birds when they're going through the CO2 gas chamber. It's don't like a, a couple more minutes, they're going to get killed anyway, you know what I mean? Well, they, I mean, the, the guys seem quite reasonable. So he did. I'm, I'm sure, he did. you know, if there's, if there's something straightforward... I think he's a bit nervous that we're going to do something, or, but we're really not. We know they're going to get executed. We, you know, they're killing them here. This is the last moments of their life. Just trying to show people, hey, if you don't want to eat turkeys, this is what they look like, you know, and they've got nothing to hide here, he's told me. Got nothing to hide. So when the next truck comes, are you going to be here for that? No, I'm going to go soon, but we will be doing drive-bys just while you're here, just <sighs> because that's, that's our policy. Um, so, so, yeah, so long as it's a peaceful protest and you're all, you're all safe and everyone uh, that works here is safe as well. That's We're safe. opposed to violence of yeah. all kinds, to all beings, so there won't be any violence. We don't want to be disobedient either. We want to work with people. Yeah. They're going to get killed anyway. What's an extra couple of minutes? Do you eat the birds out of here, mate? Do you eat the turkeys from here? Uh, I haven't for a long time. How long you worked here for? Uh, a few 
few years. Few years? Yeah. Why don't you eat them here? I, I just, I eat lots of different things, if I'm going to be honest. Okay. <laughs> but do you eat turkeys in general? Yes. Okay. But it wouldn't turn you off eating turkeys working here, smelling... No, no, no. Uh, the, the welfare on this side is, is the best. Uh, best I've in the world? So, best you've ever seen? The best I've ever seen is uh, if I've been part of this industry. Okay. Do you, you obviously don't see the welfare on the farm, though, because you, you're no, not there. I, I don't have anything to do with that. So. Yeah. And you see all the guts and the blood and all that. It doesn't turn you off at all? No, not really. Okay. And the smell of the turkeys? Yeah, no, that, no. That's interesting. Wow. A lot of people do get turned off. I, I'd speak to guards that work at pig slaughterhouses and they don't want to eat the, the pork out of, even no, if they I get it. I understand a, that, everybody's yeah, different. Yeah, that's interesting. Wow, okay. So it's, it's totally fine here, everything's totally humane, you don't see anything wrong with it at all? Huh? No, it's the way it is. in line with legislation. Circle of life. Like obviously legislation is one thing, right? What's legal is one thing, but what's like ethical, uh, completely separate issues because slavery was once legal but it was unethical so the, you know the law takes time to catch up to morals in history there's lots of things like that yeah exactly so this this is like one of those things where like okay these beings they don't want to die obviously they would prefer to live she gave them a choice if they understood the choice and you said in turkey language you die if you go in this chamber you can live which one would you choose i'm sure they would choose to live yeah so they've been killed against their will that's all so it's interesting that you don't see anything wrong with that, that's all, because uh, maybe you don't analyse it like that and you just see just dumb food animals or something. But, uh, Everybody has an opinion. They do. And no opinion's wrong. They are definitely wrong opinions. Absolutely. Listen to that sound. Listen to that sound. You don't think that that scares the birds. So, basically, Putting a camera near a turkey spooks them, but a massive mechanical forklift doesn't spook them. It's, it's a very triggering thing for me to hear. A murderer of birds say that you're spooking the birds. You know, how dare you? How dare you? And farmers do this too. Oh, you know, you're spooking the birds when you go into the, into the farm. Oh, well, and you're not when you, when you cull them in front of each other and when you catch them, chuck them in crates and send them to be gassed to death. Disgusting, really, when you think about it. How dare you? You don't care if the birds are spooked. You're a bird killer. There they go. Off to be gassed to death. That's just a fridge truck that's filled with the carcasses of those animals. Just drive out, it's like a morgue truck, throw some bodies in there, sending the animals to be eaten by the unaware consumer. Or the uh, ignorant consumer who is aware, just deliberately ignorant. It was funny before, he's like, this place has the highest welfare of any slaughterhouse in the entire world. It's like, come on, dude. There's no such thing as high welfare killing. Killing and welfare are diametrically opposed things. It's like a mass murder facility, eh? Yeah. This is a huge turkey holocaust just happening in this, like this place alone, isolated from every other place in the world, this place here alone, if this existed itself, it would be a horrible facility you know, but these, this is just one of it, like thousands. What's up, buddy? Right, next vehicle's due in about five, 10 minutes. Excellent. Okay, okay we'll stop it. Yes. We'll try and keep it stopped as long as three minutes. Yes, bro. Appreciate it. Um, so we'll stop it uh, uh, up to three minutes, yep. as long as we don't block the road. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we want to be, we want to make this really safe. Thank you very much, appreciate yeah. it, thank you. He kills animals for a living, and he yeah, he, he, he has the for the last 15 years. Worst ever been, and it, it was like the conditions were horrific. Was in a place that used to process lettuces. That is literally what he said to me. That's amazing. So lettuce processing facilities are actually worse than slaughterhouses. So the welfare of the lettuce is really bad compared yeah. to the turkeys. Okay. Here we go. Hey, darling. This little baby here. Poor babies. Okay, there's another one here. I'm just gonna film so everyone can see.
You know, they kill three million turkeys here every year. Three million. And they kill them in a gas chamber. No. They gas these innocent birds. They're about 16 weeks old. No. Well, we, the, they only do it because the people in the public pay them to do it for them so they can eat the birds. So if the people stop buying it, they'll stop supplying it. That's true. There's things that you can control, like uh, purchasing slaughtered animals. There's, th there's starvation that happens in the world that is outside of our control. It should definitely be illegal to torture and kill animals and serve it to people. There's mostly factory farms in the UK, but they like to sell people advertising of green pastures and things like that. But they don't show people what happens in there. They should let people walk through there and have a look. I always say this to people, when you're in a supermarket, you can choose to buy a vegan, which means no animals harmed, or the other stuff which has some animal products, slaughter, torture. They can make leather out of fungi. Yeah, mushroom leather, pineapple leather, yeah. There are alternatives. You can make milk out of soya beans or milk out of oat, oats. You can uh, make cheese. Oat milk? Have you tried almond milk? Oh really? Mm. Well the dairy cows will get slaughtered and their, their calves get taken and slaughtered so it depends if you find a, a plant milk you like over the slaughter and torture of the dairy cows. I mean it's kind of what you're weighing up. Getting used to a different milk or so we, we kind of rely on the consumer to help shift the, the, the economy into plant-based, non-animal businesses. And that's what we rely on. People like you, good-hearted people who just change where they do their purchasing. There's a truckload of turkeys right behind you, about to go in to be slaughtered. Poor baby. Poor bird. Hey, darling. Here we go. What's that? Uh huh. Just a sick, sick industry, isn't it? Infant eyes, innocent birds, and just, uh, I just don't know how they can, uh, just see all those individuals all the time, and just watch them get gassed to death every single day and just not think anything of it. Like, it's, it's a very bizarre, like, dynamic that has to happen. Psychological dynamic and cultural dynamic for people to just, I don't know, see those little faces and going into slaughter every single day and just not, just not think anything of it, you know? It's incredibly sad. Again, if you just email me in future if you want, and then I, I can deal with me directly. Uh, and no worries. Can organize stuff. Thanks, appreciate right. pre appreciate Thanks. help. Have All a good right. Christmas, and yes, uh, hope you have a vegan roast. Yes. Don't kill any animals this Christmas. All right. <laughs> See you, mate. So here we are, Avara Foods, killing 60,000 turkeys every week, three million a year. That's crazy, gassing innocent birds, you know, for Christmas time. So most of the turkeys in the UK will be 
eaten at Christmas time. I think it's like 15 million or something. Crazy numbers. Look, Christmas time, why would you sit down and celebrate Christmas with the body of an innocent bird that was slaughtered against their will? Try some of the amazing vegan options. We've got the vegan Christmas guide linked down below. Just try one of the many amazing vegan roasts this Christmas. Go vegan, there's no need to cause suffering, violence and death to innocent beings to celebrate Christmas. Completely opposed to everything that you probably believe Christmas is all about, which is sharing and kindness and compassion. There's nothing kind about gas chambers, about killing innocent beings, and there's nothing kind about eating the bodies of innocent beings too. So for Christmas, be kind and live vegan. Fingers have frostbite. Imagine how the birds are feeling in the back of those trucks. 